Hey guys, Noi here, here with another weekly devlog. This week was kind of difficult for me. It was mainly just a lot of refactoring code, fixing up sprites and really thinking about the direction where my game's going. But anyway, hope you enjoy. So today I need to refactor my code to allow for multiple types of enemies. This went um, kind of smoothly, except for one thing. For, for some reason, the superclasses enemies update method doesn't access the current like updated version of the enemy's health. It just keeps on spitting out 100 as the current health, even though the enemy was hit. But thankfully, I fixed it by checking if the enemy should be dead in their take damage function. So yeah, because of my refactoring, I can now make specific enemy attack states. So this means different types of enemies with different behaviors and all that. And as you can see, I also added a swing effect arc to the player's attack. This just gives the players some more visual ideas on like their attack range, where they can attack and all that. So today was a kind of lazy day, but I was still able to implement a bit of functionality. I found that the mage's fire rate was way too fast, so I decreased it. I also added collision detection to the ranged attacks, so if they collide with terrain, it will explode. And I didn't like how the ranged attack can go on forever. Like if it doesn't hit an enemy, it just keeps on going. So at a specific distance from the mage, the projectiles will slowly die off. I also added the animation to the mage, which again was pretty straightforward. And yeah, I kind of like the current difficulty of the game right now. So if you don't really pay attention to the enemies around you, you kind of will die, which is good, I hope. It's Friday my dudes, let's see how long it will take to implement a new ranged enemy, but first we have to create the sprites, so let's do that. So yeah, for my first sprite it's just, you know, a basic bow, I kind of tried to get it to look like a bow with 16x16 16 16 pixels, then I designed the arrow which again is pretty straightforward, it's just an arrow, and then I worked on the, um, the design of the archer and its idle and walk animations. I kind of like how the quiver is attached to the um, skeleton with, you know, the strap and all that. And yeah, I don't know, I think it looks alright, except for the um, walk animation, which looks a bit, um, a bit weird, but anyway. And yeah, it was surprisingly easy to implement the archer. The only thing I had difficulty with was getting the bow to kind of aim at the player. But I solved this by giving the enemy a hand which essentially rotates towards the player if they're their target, which in turn rotates the bow. So the archers themselves, they have a slower attack speed than mages, but their projectiles are fast, which kind of, um, I guess, balances it out a bit. I think that's it for implementation today, and I'm feeling a bit burnt out, so I'll take the rest of the day off. Watch some candy videos, yo. So it's Saturday, time to do some more pixel art. I feel that my mages and you know the basic skeleton sprites don't really match the theme right now, they feel a bit out of place, so let's fix that. Yeah, so for the basic skeleton, I kind of wanted them to be a warrior, so I just added them some plate bodies and you know a helmet and fixed the animation. And then for the mage, I liked how the robe was looking, so I kept that whole theme, but the head just looked a bit, a bit fucking weird, so I swapped that out to be a bit normal. And yeah, and I, I felt like their fireball didn't really look good as being like an orange blob, so I tried to make a, a cool looking fireball. And yeah. So while I was implementing the new sprites and animations, I thought it would be cool if the, like, the basic skeleton had a weapon, so I gave them big old swords. And honestly, this is about it for what I did implementation-wise today. I spent the rest of the day just, you know, designing and researching how to implement an item system, which I hope to implement next week. And I also read that Unity prefers composition over inheritance, and I've been using a lot of inheritance, so hopefully I can um, change that up next week. So today I want to really figure out what direction I want the combat to go in. So let's build two different types of like arenas and see how the combat feels on them. 
I know once I've polished the combat, I want the dungeons or floors to be procedurally generated. However, I'm not sure which design I like better, and what design kind of suits the type of combat that I'm aiming for. I know that I want there to be lots of combat, and at this point, um, you know, that's about it combat-wise, I'm not too sure. So anyway, after a bit I came up with these two different types of floors. One is a smaller contained field with mobs randomly spawning, kind of like nuclear throne. And the other is a large open field with mobs spawning in, you know, like predefined packs. If I were to choose the smaller floor, the player would have to complete multiple floors before they reach the boss. Whereas if I choose the big open one, once they clear that room, their next room is the boss. I honestly think that I just have to see how my combat turns out before I can actually choose. But the types of roguelikes that I like are, you know, all like fast paced, action based. Not ones where you just walk around and do nothing, but like, you know, kite two or three enemies per room. But yeah, I'd really like your guys' input on this. Um, which type of, you know, dungeon or floor should I implement? Which type of design? Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See ya!